of silence to prepare ourselves for prayer. Pour les frères francophones, salut du général à Baltimore. Je vous souhaite la bienvenue à notre première prière comme congrégation. Nous célébrons les vêpres euh, du dimanche de Gaudete, nous présente l'occasion de réfléchir et de prier sur la joie et l'espoir auquel notre mission partagée nous appelle chaque jour de l'année. Que nous prenions quelques moments de silence pour pré préparer pour la prière. From Isaiah chapter 9. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. All Gaudete. as they rejoice before you at the harvest 
as they make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel in the flame. For unto us a child is born, a son is given to us. Upon his shoulders the governance rests. They name him Wonderful Counselor, God All-Powerful, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His reign is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. O oh God, come to our assistance. Glory, to the peace that help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The one who is coming after me is greater than I. I am not worthy to untie the straps of his sandals. Alternate with me. Sing a new song to the Lord, who has done marvelous deeds, whose right hand and holy arm have won the victory. The Lord has made his victory known, has revealed his triumph over the nations to be, and has remembered his faithful love for the house of the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Shout with joy to the, to the King, the Lord. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and the those who dwell there. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout their hands of joy. Before the Lord who comes, who comes to govern with the earth, to govern the earth with justice and the peoples with fairness. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Goedemorgen vanuit Brugge. Uit de profeet Micha. Op het eind van de dagen zal het gebeuren dat de berg van het huis van Yahweh vast zal staan als de eerste der bergen, verheven boven de heuvels en de volken stromen naar haar toe. De vele naties gaan op weg en zeggen, kom, laat ons opgaan naar de berg van Yahweh, naar het huis van Jacob's God. Dan zal hij ons zijn wegen wijzen en wij zullen zijn paden bewandelen. Ja, in Sion ontspringt de wet, in Jeruzalem het woord van Yahweh. Hij zal recht doen tussen de vele volken en machtige naties tuchtigen, al wonen zij nog zo ver. Dan smidden zij hun zwaarden om tot ploegscharen en hun speerpunten tot snoeimessen. Geen volk heft het zwaard meer tegen een ander en de oorlog leren zij niet meer. 
Yahweh heeft u gezegd wat goed is, mens, en wat hij van u verlangt. Hij wil niets anders dan dat gij u houdt aan het recht, dat gij de trouw eerbiedigt en u tegenover uw God ootmoedig gedraagt. The Responsory Your light will come, Jerusalem, on you in radiant beauty. You will see his glory within you. Glory will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The glory will dawn on you in radiant beauty. You are blessed among women, Mary, all together. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, because he has regarded the loneliness of his handmaid. For behold, henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, because he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is from generation to generation on those who fear him. He has shown might with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and has exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent them away empty. He has given them help to Israel his servant, mindful of his mercy, even as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his posterity forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You are blessed among women, Mary. At this time, we, we offer our intercessions. For all Zavarian brothers throughout the world, our associate members, our collaborators, and those, all those whom we serve, we ask God's blessing during Hear this us, week. O Lord. And for what else shall we pray? Pray for all those who suffer from want or neglect or abuse, that somewhere in their, their day, their life, that they be touched with the hope and um, faith of a believer. We pray to the Lord. Hear, Hear us, us, O Lord. Lord. In this season of peace and reconciliation, let us pray for peace among the warring nations, particularly in places like Syria and in so many other countries where people have decided to go to violence to solve their problems. For this, let us pray. Hear us, yes, O Lord. supports our mission and our work to all the members of our Sacred Heart Union who support in prayer. We pray. Amen. Hear us, O oh Lord. For Brother Ed, for his assistance to the council, for the staff, for all those who serve in leadership and serve the mission of the congregation, let us pray. Hear, Hear us, O oh Lord. For the intentions of all of those who are joining us online, we pray. Hear, Hear us, O Lord. Lord. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May the Lord bless us and strengthen us to act justly, to love tenderly, and to walk humbly with our God. Amen. Amen. Hey, Chris. <laughs>